Hello again, Pipers, YTPC. Sunday afternoon, it's still pretty damn cold, but um, I had to smoke a bowl. Captain Black. Maybe. Smoking it in my Rossi Naughty. I love this little pipe. Here's a beautiful, just very good smoker you can get for under a hundred dollars. Absolutely gorgeous pipe. For those of you, you know, I doubt there's many that has not smoked Captain Black, tried Captain Black, original anyway. It's a rich black Cavendish and mellow tasting Burleys. It's an aromatic, so it's basically Burley and black Cavendish. That's probably why I get zero tongue bite with it, ever. One of the more pleasant smelling aromatics, in my opinion. Can't really go wrong with Captain Black Original or uh, Sutliff Molto Dolce or Creme Brulee. Very, very good room note. <clears throat> I will have to be mowing the grass, I think, this week, once it warms up a little bit. A lot of the neighbors have already done it. I think they're a little, a little bit premature, but there's spots that are getting pretty high, so. Hmm. Went through my tobacco cellar. What I have, I mean, <laughs> I found there's there's a lot of stuff there that I'm probably not gonna smoke. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I don't want to throw it away. Ever. I shouldn't say there's a lot. There's just a little that I'm pretty sure I, I just don't like it. I won't be smoking it. I have a lot of tinderbox blends that I've had for quite a while that I will smoke. I just don't smoke them probably as often as I should. Uh, I've been getting into all these Virginia flakes and uh, pretty much left my aromatics alone. So that's okay. I see a lot of I see a lot of guys who present on here and uh, they have larger stockpiles than I do. And uh, as long as you jar it up, I mean, mm, this stuff is so delicious. Zero tongue bite. So sweet. Mm. 
after all, how has everyone's weekend gone? Ours wasn't too bad. The weather could have definitely been better. Uh, it rained. It was cold and it rained and snowed yesterday. Sleet. Uh, of course, as I said, we were getting our carpet installed, which is done, by the way. They did a very good job. Um, today, it's still just cold and damp out here. But I had to get out of the house. Um, we went to Lowe's today, picked up, started picking up things we we're going to be planting. If it warms up a little this week, we're going to get the mulch. And I'll show you out here once we get some of the stuff planted and, the, and mulched. It'll look really nice. I also saw today, I don't know what you call them, but. Like the prevolas, the things that, you know, you erect on your patios to give you shade. Um, they had one at Lowe's that was like under $700. And I'm really seriously thinking about getting one for that side of the patio. And then we'll have the table here with the umbrella. And you'll still be able to see the yard. From the living room, pretty much. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. And the way it looks, you just... You take off the canopy above. Canvas, whatever that material is. And you store it in the winter. And the, the framework just stays up. Uh, as far as I, the way it looks. Got to talk the wife into it, but I don't think that'll be a, a huge problem. It'll be very nice. Get a little fire pit over here, and I think it'll be complete, at least for me. Very excited for tomorrow. First day at the new job, it'll basically be mostly HR, I think, um, orientation, all that. It would be cool. I've already seen the facility, but it'd be really cool if I show you guys. It's pretty impressive place, actually. They just built, they just bought it actually out there five years ago. And I'm not sure what it was before, but they have a really nice production area. They have a huge huge training room. Chairs, desks lined up across the room. Big projection screen. And they have a awesome locker room there. Uh, lockers, showers. Um, that's why I'm wondering what it used to be. Um, never seen, I mean, it's pretty nice. The building can't be more than 10 years old. It'll be, I'm looking forward to it. I'm nervous, but I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, very quiet. It's been a very quiet weekend. We went out for breakfast this morning and before we went to Lowe's and there was hardly any traffic. Um, Granted, probably when we were out, it was church hours, but there's just, like, nobody at Lowe's, hardly anybody. Um, yeah, it was strange. Probably because it's just so cold and the weather is just shite here <laughs> right now. But...
we'll have to see. Supposedly I'll be training here at the facility for like a month before I start flying all over. Um, we're going to try to see how much of the landscaping. We should get most of it done, I would think. A couple weekends. Uh, for hope, man. Captain Black original, gang. You cannot go wrong. Get the big tub. You'll smoke it all, trust me. Just so good. This is probably the first, if not the first, one of the first tobaccos I tried when I started smoking a pipe three years ago. And I'm still smoking it, so. And I've tried a lot of different things, so. Still going strong. I hear a lot of people talk about the different Captain Black blends. Uh, I have had Captain Black Dark. That is good. It's probably my second favorite. There are a lot of people that Royal is their favorite, which I've heard people say, I have had the Royal. I bought a sample pack once, so it had the cherry, the Royal, the gold, I believe the dark and the original. Of all of them, the original is gone first, of course. Um, I thought the Royal, a lot of people compare that Royal to like Lane 1 Q. I do not get that. Maybe you do. Um, no, I wasn't a fan of the Royal. Um, it really was kind of, to be honest with you, kind of blah. I'll have to do a video on just exactly what's in them. Because the Royal, that might have something other than just Black Cavendish and Burleys in it. I don't know. I didn't look that up, but I will do a video on it because I recommend all black Captain Black products to anybody. Um, but for this to be a strictly Burley and Cavendish blend, that's probably one of the only blends that I smoke that, you know, there's not Virginia in it. Um, with your ribbon cut, a lot of black Cavendish, I'll tell you that. It smells so good. Definitely a first try if you're just starting to smoke a pipe. This would definitely be a good one. Just get a pouch of it. And give it a shot. Like get a cob and load it up with this. Give it a shot. I don't think you can go wrong. Hmm. So I, I thought I'd just hop out here. Freeze my ass off for 10 minutes. Say hello. See how everyone's weekend is going. Hopefully great. Of course it's going great. We all smoke a pipe, right? What are we doing? We're sit we're smoking our pipes all weekend. What uh I will probably see you all tomorrow. Until then, keep them lit.